Alright everybody, looks like there's still quite a few things left to explore using Hammer and uh, the level 2 bracelet. And now that I've completed like a little mini dungeon, I have kind of an idea of where to go next to explore. There's been quite a few of these unknown mini dungeons that I've been to already, at least in my first playthrough, but that I've, I haven't gone back to since on my second playthrough. And now that I have more hearts and... I have more items to utilize. I think I think it's time to revisit these places and see what they have. I mean, if the last if the dungeon was any indication where there's nothing but dark nuts and stuff, with a little smattering of whiz robes, then yeah, we got quite a few little mini dungeons to return to. But before we do that, we're gonna explore a little bit more of these Talag caves because there's a couple more sections that are unmapped, uncharted. Yeah, there's quite a few things on the south side that I want to check out. There's one on the lower right, but eh, I'm not on that side of the map yet. I'll get there eventually. Wow, there's nothing I can do on that side. Not yet, anyway. And I'll say this, given the limited tile set that I see here, there's like literally, uh... Okay, I think I need to go up and right here. But yeah, there's literally nothing but like one cave floor tile, and like three to four different types of rocks. I mean, that is literally it, in terms of tile usage, so I gotta applaud the designer for at least trying to make these caves look interesting, but they're still kind of dull. <laughs> just, just slightly. No, quite a bit, actually. Uh, there's a room to the left here. Ooh. -oh. oh, snap. <laughs> Woo! Another magic upgrade. Wow, something tells me I could have got this after level 5. Because all that was needed was the frickin' ladder. Go figure. Okay, I'm in the desert. Okay, that's actually perfect. This is exactly where I want to be next. Because there just happens to be a small little mini dungeon that I really recall way, way back when I was attempting level 3. That kind of got on my nerves. Because I couldn't beat it. Now that I have more hearts, and I have the red mail... Well, shoot. There's no reason why I shouldn't beat it. Right here. I remember this one extremely well. Oh, yes. The Goma. <laughs> the Goma Minute Dungeon. I think I got to... I got. I don't know. I gotta go look back at my footage way back when, but I think I got to the third room. The Goma Trials, and then... That was it. I couldn't get any further. Yeah, I think this is the furthest I got. And this is kind of crazy in itself. Four foot shooting statues, three gomas. Yeah. <laughs> three hearts, three tunic. This was just about done. But now, not too bad here. This, I think I have a chance here. I think this has got to be the last room. Or could they throw at me here? <laughs> oh, of course. Throw the spikes in. Why not? This requires boots from level 6. So you can't successfully beat this, at least with any sort of degree of, you know, ease, until you get the boots. Oh my goodness. That is super nuts. There's gotta be a good present after this. I mean, there's no reason not to have this ridiculous dungeon here without some sort of present or item. Aha! Ugh! Ugh! Another heart piece. Goma Dungeon Heart Piece. Okay. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm actually pretty darn close to another little mini dungeon just like this. But I think it's in the light world. I just gotta get to the warp to the light world first. Yep, 
Here we go. Alright. It's just north of me, I believe. Not too far away. Here we go. I remember trying this out a while back on my first playthrough. Right after Dungeon 3, I believe. I don't think I got very far. So this is like another gauntlet type of level. Okay, I think I was able to beat this room. Again, I have to go back and look at the footage, but I think I was able to beat this one on my three heart run uh, playthrough of the game up until level 7, so... I think it was the next room I died on. So anything after this point, I'm just... I'm clueless on what's going on after this. Okay, wow. These guys... Don't pack too much of a wallop, but they're pretty decent. <laughs> so we're just going a counterclockwise route. Okay. Ah, Dark Nuts, of course. Wow, coming straight off of level 3, this would be terrible. I mean, you'd need at least the ladder from level 5 to make this room easy. So if this is door number 3, what the heck is behind door number 4? Ugh, of course! Of course, okay. So, level 6 then. Need a hookshot to hopefully stun these thing, these wizards here. Oh, come on. Stun yourself. Thank you. And I think that's it. All four rooms are down. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, oh my goodness, what the heck. Oh, Jiminy Christmas. Superman handlers. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're so crazy. What the heck just happened? Oh my gosh, that was terrible. And I see a pattern with these little mini dungeons. Yep, one more, and I have another heart piece. And speaking of which, I actually know where to get one more. As a matter of fact. Uh, but first, uh, yeah, I need to go and buy some more super bombs. I am running low, as in zero, and I need some more. And I have a ton of money to do it. I'm just going to throw some more money at this lady. Tick my Mooney. Tick my rubies. Need the power of red. Okay, this is kind of annoying going in and out just to buy more bombs. There, there's got to be an easier way to just keep buying more bombs and just enter the house just once. But I don't know the limitations of the program. I don't know how things are run, but having to go in and out all the time is kind of ridiculous. But that's a n nitpick. Small little gripe. Nothing big in the grand scheme of things, though. This one's actually a little bit further away from all the others. Uh, right about there. And why have I not bombed this yet? What the heck is this? Oh, it's an info dude. That's why. Eh, I'll see what you have to offer for 20. A rundown piece of junk called secrets that its cracks cannot show. Uh... Thanks for being cryptic. That was really helpful. Thanks. I have no idea what that meant. A rundown piece of junk holds secrets its cracks cannot show. What in the world? 
Okay, if anybody knows what the heck that refers to, let me know. I am going to save my rubies and uh, not buy any of the other hints. I don't. If they're going to be just as cryptic, I, I don't think I'm going to make any use out of them. But that's just me. All right, let's try this dungeon again. This little mini cave, actually. Left, up, right, right. So, for those who remember have stuck with me through this playthrough so far, we've actually been here once before. Uh, I was not aware that there was doom awaiting me at the end of this cave in the form of bat robes. Well, with three hearts. And, wait a minute, let's see here. Down, right, left, up. Uh, in the form of uh, bat robes. Holy crap. That, that just... That ruined me. I, with three hearts, and I think I was with... Okay. I think it was with a blue male as well. I had no chance of surviving. Not with the white... Uh, not with the white sword, or the, the wooden sword. So... I'm not even sure if the hammer works on those, those robes, actually. Might be something to investigate later. Although this is kind of neat in a way that these, you know, the designers using maids paths to to make a little gimmick out of this, it runs a little bit long. <laughs> Could have ended about two screens ago. Ah, uh, here's the bat robes. Hello. Oh my goodness. Okay, one step. Woo. Okay, so it looks like they take about four hits. Four hits kills one bat robe. Got it. Woo, all done. All that's left is to clean up. Oh, get over here. Alright. And let me guess. This must be another heart piece. Bat robe cave heart piece. Awesome. Alright. I am two hearts away getting full heart meter and there's a huge uh, there's that section there in the water and that I think I can get to right now and wow that requires the raft and I haven't even gone there yet I'm trying to fill in all the spaces on the world map so I so I, I can safely say I've explored everything because until I got all the white spaces cleared out, I mean, I can't really safely say I've explored everything in this game. Or at least tried to, and I I am not going the right way. Okay, I need to... <laughs> Apparently I need to face right when I press the whistle. Oh, which brings me to a little tidbit of information. A uh, little trick to using the whistle. If you are facing right or down, when you blow the whistle, you'll go to the next uh, dungeon and sequence for the whistle warps. But if you're facing left and up, you'll go back... Uh, one dungeon in sequence. Just a little bit of trivia there on how to use the whistles more efficiently. So face the, the direction you're facing is very important when using the whistle. Okay, so yeah, there's this raft path I've never taken. And... Uh, I don't... What the, I don't see anything here. isn't showing me anything. Maybe there's something under that rock? I have no idea. Okay. Whatever. Continue on my merry way. And go pound this stake in. Right here. So this is definitely something you can't access until after level 8. 7. Correction. Huh, and there's that little little passage to the trees there. Okay, that's definitely a dungeon Triforce mark. Ah, and there's a 
cave and that was the heart piece. How the heck did I get to that cave? Okay, this must be Dungeon 8, I believe. We'll find out in a moment. Yes, level 8. Jarde Richard Markov, yeah. Jaren Markov, yeah, there we go. Cross and the flippers. I knew it! There had to be some sort of uh, swimming item. Uh, looks like they're gonna have to be in the left inventory part of the screen. What the heck does the cross do? I mean, I've played a couple uh, quests uh, since starting this play series. Uh, when I first played this, I, ha I hadn't really. This was actually my first custom quest, but then in between, I've actually started playing other quests. But I have yet to come across an item that. That's the cross. I have I have no idea what it's about. Okay, so the boss is all the way up there. Doesn't do me much good unless I have a map. Okay, so it looks like to me this is going to be like a water-based dungeon. Okay, I don't have a key. Got it. Can't do anything more. Yeah, this is definitely a water-based dungeon. I don't know if that's going to come into play, like, with a gimmick or something, but... Oh, wow. That was overkill. <laughs> no kill like overkill. I just wasted a super bomb. But at least it was satisfying. Uh, yeah. Okay, good. I was like, that's got to be the only way to get to that chest. I mean, certain certain secrets now are becoming a little bit too predictable in this quest. A little bit too predictable. So before we progress any further past any other doors, I'm going to go back and unlock this one. Oh, okay. You enter a room full of posts. What do you do? You push a block and see what happens. Uh. Okay, so I need to be in the upper left, I think. Oh, oh, I see the issue here. Okay, so I can't push that block, so I gotta push one of these. I think it's the left block. Ha! Success. I am. Whoa. Okay, that's a Patra. I can see that's a Patra. Uh, but I really can't see it. It's like like a shadow. That's really freaky. That is, oh, I should take this chest, shouldn't I? Hold on. Yeah, let's open this chest. Oh, here's the cross. Oh, I can see him now. Oh, was there more invisible enemies in this dungeon? Okay, so where the cross... Okay. Okay, let me get this straight. So the cross apparently lets you see enemies you can't see otherwise. Wow, if I got that at the beginning of the dungeon, that was kind of, uh... That was kind of anticlimactic, actually. As if there were any other invi yeah because look at this there's all these symbols with crosses on them so if all these enemies were invisible it's kind of anticlimactic because you just it just gave it away to you at the beginning of the level okay so that's definitely gone uh tch -tch. ah of course the wand the item that uses up the most magic <laughs> That's not even remotely useful. Whoa! That is... That is a new wizard. 
What is this vile sorcery? Oh, wow. That is a new whiz rope for sure. I don't... That... That did not exist in the original game, actually. I don't remember any whiz rope that shot fire out like that. Oh, good gosh, no. Ooh, it hurts, too. And yeah, that is a little bit too obvious on that chest. Oh. That's kind of an interesting design. Is it supposed to be like a symbol or a shape or something? Eh. Whatever. <laughs> okay, I'm starting to see a little bit of a thing with this dungeon. They give you all these powerful enemies to defeat. They don't give you a lot of room to work with. It's like most of the room is taken up by water or something else. Okay. Oh, and a boss key already? Uh, it's like this dungeon is giving everything out early. Okay, and there's clearly something with those panels. Light-colored blocks. Let me see if I can push this. Yep! Okay, I see what the issue is. Okay, I need to push all these. Okay, so it's like a block-pushing puzzle with the trap thing. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, cool. But man, I got the boss key. And this level's just giving out things. Usually a boss key is harder to find than that. I don't even have the flippers, actually. I don't have all the items of the dungeon, and I got the boss key already. That's really weird. Oh, whoa. It's those darkness again. Oh, gosh. It is. Oh, it is. They are splitting it. I don't even know what to call those. Ultimate Dark Nuts? Dark Max? Max Darks? I have no idea. Alright, then. And I have hit another dead end. That requires another key. Alright, so we're going to backtrack, ow. And, ooh, looks like I'm running up on my time here. So we're going to backtrack towards the start. And we're going to continue investigating level 8 in the next video. So, until then, everybody, see you later.